Hi and welcome to SAMPAD Lab 5, the world's leading putting analysis and training system. In this video we will show you one of the major new features of SAMPAD Lab 5, the ability to control your SAMPAD Lab via your iPhone or iPad. We will start with how to set up your SAMPAD Lab 5 software on your PC, how to connect your iPad with it and then give you a short overview about the basic controls. On your PC, open the SAMPAD Lab 5 software, click the Setup tab and choose the entry Program Settings. In the new window, select the General Settings tab on the left side. On the right side, check the App Remote Control box to activate the remote control features and close the window by pressing the OK button. Back in the main menu, you can now see a new button in the top right corner. By pressing the button, the app control gets activated and is waiting for the device to connect to your PC. You can also see the actual status and the IP address of your PC. Remember that your mobile device and the PC running the SAMPAD Lab 5 software must be in the same local network. Let's go to the iPad. After you've started the Pad Lab 5, you're prompted to the main menu. The Pad Lab 5 app is divided into two main modes. You can connect and work with your SAMPAD Lab directly, or you can view and work with the reports and media files stored within the SAMPAD Lab 5 app on your iPad. Remember, if you get stuck at any point, you can find on almost every screen of the app a question mark button, which will open the on-screen help. First, we will connect to your PC running the SAMPAD Lab 5 software by tapping on the Connect to PAD Lab button. A new window opens and asks you for the IP address of the PC running the SAMPAD Lab 5 software. Enter the IP address and tap on the Connect button. Now you are connected to your SAMPAD Lab 5 software on your PC. You can see all the projects, players, sessions and measurements and you can switch between them by simply tapping on the screen. On the left side you can find the basic controls to start a new measurement or training with the selected player or view a screen or print report of existing measurements or sessions. Now we will start a new measurement. The software will ask you which report should be displayed after the measurement. Select the report you want to view and tap the select button. This is the measurement screen of the iPad app. On the bottom, you can find the familiar SAMPAD Lab controls like Direct and Countdown Calibration, Stroke Detection, Delete the Last Putt and Save and Exit. In the lower right corner, you can find the actual status of the SAMPAD Lab. At the moment, there is no data signal available. Now press the button on the triplet and the app tells you the next step, in this case to calibrate the system. Move to your putting position, place the club head in the sweet spot and by tapping the Dial Calibration button in the app, the SAM Putt Lab system is calibrated and you can make your first putt. In the app you can see that the first stroke has been successfully recorded. You can also delete the last putt by tapping the button. I will make another putt and save the measurement. Back in the main menu of the app you can now see the new measurement you have just made. You can select the measurement and select Screen from the left side to open the screen report for the measurement. Select the screen report you want to view and tap the Select button. The screen report is now opened on your PC. If you want to see the report pages on your iPad, just tap into the preview area and they will be transferred to your iPad. You can now switch between the report pages on your iPad. Remember, if you transfer the pictures onto the screen of the iPad, they are not automatically stored on your iPad. Below the preview, you can find additional features like viewing the report pages in full screen mode and edit options. Notes you have added to the report pages will be saved into the SAMPAD Lab 5 software on your computer. More details about the screen report view can be found in a separate video. Save the pictures to your iPad by clicking the button below the preview window. You can switch to your iPad and see all the local data you have stored on the device. Therefore, press the local data offline button on the left side. Now I select the report I have just transferred to the iPad. You can view the report in full screen, edit the report and generate a video with audio comment. Share it via email, Facebook, Dropbox and Twitter or delete it from your iPad. I will open it now in full screen mode. You can simply switch between the report pages by pressing the buttons in the top bar or swipe over the screen. Tapping the back button will bring you back to the local data stored on your iPad. We hope this video has given you a basic overview about what you can do with the new remote control feature of SAM Pad Lab 5. Check out our website and YouTube channel for more videos regarding the tablet app, like creating report videos with audio comments and how to share data with your friends and students. 